Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix connectivity issue with BattleBit remastered game on your Windows computer. So first of all, restart Steam and restart computer. So first of all, try to restart Steam and after you restart Steam, then log in and then launch the game and then check. Still you're facing the problem, then restart your computer. Restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to install and repair easy anti-cheat for this click on play and then over here you can see the option which says install and repair easy anti-cheat so select this option and then click on play now still you are facing the problem the next step is to launch the game as an administrator from the game installation folder for this make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files now it will take you to the game installation folder make a right click on the game exe file and then click on run as administrator if that does not work you can try this try to launch the game from this make a right click and then click on run as administrator you can even make a right click on this and then click on run as administrator and then check now the next step is to try installing another game which has easy anti-cheat so you can try installing any other game which has easy anti-cheat for this for example, Apex Legend has easy anti-cheat, so you can install this, play for few seconds and then you can close this and then launch the game and then check. Now still you are facing the connection issue, then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. So the first step is to restart your computer, so make sure that you simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and region is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right over here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time, then click on adjust date and time. And make sure set time automatically and set time zone automatically. Both are on over here. So if not on, turn it on and then click on sync now. Make sure that you click on sync now. Now, once this is done, now go to time and language, go to region, language and region, and then make sure right country is selected over here and then launch the game next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings now if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security and then click on windows security but if you have windows 10 you will have an option update and security click on update and security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection. Now scroll down, click on manage ransomware protection. Now over here control folder access would be on over here. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Now click on yes to allow. Now click on add an allowed app, then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, if the game is installed in C drive, open program files at six. If you have bought the game on Steam, open the Steam folder. Then open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here you will find the game folder. So open the game folder. And this is just an example. Select the game exe file. Now click on open. Once the game is added over here, now launch the game. Now game pass user, you can skip this step. Now similarly, you can add the exe file to your firewall. So you can open control panel. So type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel and then go to system and security. Now click on Windows Defender firewall. Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall. Now click on change, set change settings on the top and then click on allow another app. Now go to the game installation folder once again, select the game folder, select the game exe file and then click on add. Now once the game exe file is added over here, click on OK and then launch the game. Now the next step is to perform power cycle. So to perform power cycle, shut down your computer first. So first of all, shut down your computer. Now once the computer is shut down, unplug the power cable from the computer and then after you unplug the power cable, press and hold the power button on the computer for a few seconds. This will release the static electricity from the computer. 
So after you unplug the power cable, press and hold the power button for a few seconds and then turn off your Wi-Fi router. Once you turn off your Wi-Fi router, now wait for a few seconds and re then restart your Wi-Fi router. So wait for 10 to 15 seconds and then restart your router and then plug in the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to disable manual proxy for this open windows settings. Then go to network and internet. Now over here you will see proxy. So if proxy is on over here, turn it off. Next step is to run network troubleshooter for this open windows settings. If you have windows 11, click on system and then click on troubleshoot. If you have windows 10, click on update and security, then click on troubleshoot. Now click on other troubleshooters. Now find network adapter. And in Windows 10, click on it, then you will see an option, run the troubleshooter. In Windows 11, click on run and once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. So copy all the command one by one. By one. Now type in CMD in Windows search box and then make a right click on command prompt app, then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening command prompt as an administrator. Now click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here, hit the enter key. So copy all the commands one by one, paste it, hit the enter key. Now, once done, make sure that re you restart the computer. So, make sure that you restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to perform network reset. Now, before you perform network reset, make sure that you have the Wi-Fi password. Because once you perform network reset, it will be asking for your Wi-Fi password. So, make sure that you have the password. So, open Windows settings and then go to network and internet. And then in Windows 10, simply scroll down at the bottom, you will find reset option. In Windows 11, click on advanced network settings. And then over here, you can see network reset option. Click on network reset and then click on reset now. Click on yes. And during the network reset, your system will restart. And after the system restart, you can connect to your Wi-Fi. You have to enter your password and then launch the game. Now, next step is to switch to different networks. So if you have different network available, you can switch to different network and then check. Next step is to use Ethernet connection. So if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, you can use wired connection that will give you stable performance, stable connection. Now, still you're facing the problem, then update your windows to the latest version. This is important. So make sure that your windows is up to date. So go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then launch the game. The last step is to verify or repair the game file. So if you have the game on game pass, you can go to Xbox app, make a right click on the game. This is just an example. Go to manage and then click on files and then click on verify and repair. Now, if you have the game on steam, go to steam, make a right click on the game and then select properties, go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connectivity issue with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel